So this part is basically just us walking around looking at the scenery. It's a pretty long path too and you'd think there'd be enemies but there actually isn't. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Maybe they figured there was too many enemies? Like too much combat? So that's like a fighter base. That thing is shooting at that cuttlefish there. Uh, what's this? Ammo? We don't really need ammo. Got more back here. Oh, hi guys. Bro, just kill them. So, as we're here, we get to see that, what is that, is that a, a cruiser trying to take down that cuttlefish? Hmm. What do you think is going to happen, guys? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, the cuttlefish is right there, and uh, the cruiser is right there. And... And... <laughs> They're just standing there. Come on, cuttlefish. Come on, cuttlefish. I know you want to do it. I think we actually have to walk forward. Yeah, I think we have to walk forward. Because it's not actually going to do it until we walk forward, I don't think. <laughs> you know what's going to happen. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? Alright, let's keep walking forward. How is it still alive? This is seriously just turning around and walking away. Ha! Huh. Uh, really? Okay, there we go. Wow, we missed it! Are you serious? Well, anyway, there you go. It's a hamster. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. And it's self. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. I don't know, it wasn't lined up very good. Like the the idea is you turn the corner and you're facing towards it. And you see the cruiser get destroyed in the distance. But I was so having so much trouble getting up these steps that I missed it, I think. Ah, that wasn't all that well designed. They should have just made it a smooth ramp, so you don't have to, you know, climb up. Then you would have seen it. How many troops in that crash? 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Yes. I don't know why you're concerned about 75 people, given that, what, we lost a million on the first day, 5 million on the second, on Pelavin, that's what you're talking about? Billions. Billions... ...and billions of people are gonna die. What's this? No survivors. Damn it. Crash like that, it's not surprising. <laughs> it's not surprising. <laughs> Thanks, Garrus. Alright, so what are we gonna do here? The scenery's not that great, guys. I mean, it's just cuttlefish and rocks. Not really the most appealing landscape in the galaxy. So, Lola, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Solarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. 
Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with them. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Huh. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. How'd you fight with the Krogan and come out alive? Hmm, alright, well, there's, there's still cuttlefish and, uh... Burning planet. See how long this path is? Like, there's just nothing happening. I really don't know why they chose to do this. Like, it's just a really long... Boring path where nothing happens. Like, there's ammo... And there's health kits. You'd think that would mean that maybe there's enemies attacking you along the way. But there isn't. Like, there's no enemies. Somebody messed up. <laughs> like, there's ammo on the ground. Why would you have ammo on the ground when there's no enemies? Somebody messed up on this level. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we're finally here. Okay, double time. Fine. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. Finally here. I'm gonna shoot some enemies. You ready guys? You ready? You ready? You ready? Okay, that's not cover, okay. This is cover. That's a lot of enemies. Um Let's throw that out there. Yeah, let's just burn that guy to you dead. There we go. Can we do something about these guys? Burn these guys until they die. Moving to the compound. Moving. Right behind you. Um, where are we going? Enemies are okay. Well, enemies are there. What's going on? Cannibals. Cool guys. I can do that. Oh, there's that thing. A bruise. Oh, let me just get behind here and. Start shooting at him. This gun is really good. This gun is really good. Come on, come on. Get ah, fail. Just not enough ammo, really. Otherwise, this gun's really good. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Marauder. Guy behind there, I think. Oh look, another brute. Um, we should do something about that before it gets too close. Right, let's just get rid of him first, and then the brute. Um, okay. Well, shoot at the brute. He's dead. Shoot at the other brute. But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat. What's that brute doing? Not sure. Okay, that's bad. Kill him, please. All right, he's dead. Uh, kill the marauder, please. Interesting cover, Marana. Interesting cover. Let me tell you about my armor-piercing ammo. Okay, so where's the, where's the enemy? I thought we've killed all of them. Oh, there's a guy up there. I want to just double-check for loot, to be honest. I don't think there's loot here, but I just, I just want to be sure. We came from that way, right? There's nothing there. Yeah, we came over that way. Let me just see what's here. No, no, nothing's there. Nothing's back here. Pretty sure there's nothing out there. Um, okay, this is bad. Can I get? Okay, I can get back up here. There's a few things, like a med kit. I, s I see a med kit in front of us there. Oh, there is upgrades. Look at that. There is loot. Uh, 
Um, not sure this is that. No, it's just ammo. Okay. Let's keep checking this side. Um, there's ammo there. There's more med kits there. They give you a lot of med kits. And I guess you'd need it if you were fighting on a higher difficulty. Or if you don't have this gun, or if you don't have, you know, armor piercing ammo. But we have all those things, which makes this very easy for us. What's this? Oh, a Reaper Black Star. Well, this thing's completely overpowered, but we're not gonna get the chance to use it because we already killed all the enemies. Uh, the general is there, so let's ignore him for now. And did I check this place? Well, there's nothing, nothing there anyway. All right, nothing there. There. No, no loot, no loot. All right, I guess we, I guess we picked up everything. I think we picked up everything. Could be wrong. Let's just walk over to the other side. Nope, we're done. General Victus. Yes. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You need it immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. <laughs> what makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Yes, it did. Well, Krogan's are pretty cool guys, 
so I'm sure there will be no problem. <laughs> anyway, so that's the mission on Pelavin. Not really on Pelavin. Sorry, have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me. I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. And um, it's not like the Asari is going to do anything. The Asari? Whatever. What, what have they got? The Krogan, on the other hand, are pretty awesome guys. Uh, let's save. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. <laughs> well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit our tourist station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier, ship, and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this has worked out. It's worked out for us, so far. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. Is wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Right. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Controlling the Reapers, he says. Controlling the Reapers. 